As I said, I mean, in all fairness, you, the start of the session, the shots were good because there was a nice flow to it. Okay? You were swinging the club with a nice sort of rhythm and speed. It was steep. It was a bit catty. The shots were okay. I think you got eight iron were okay. Six iron was not bad. As you'd have gone through your bag to a longer club, you'd have struggled. So the reason we want to try and shallow out this angle for every club in the bag is to make every club usable, not just, well, I'm great in the seven iron, eight iron, six iron, and then give me a three when I'm awful, yeah? So even though this on the left-hand side was a reasonable shot, I think it was one of the, the good ones, backswing's okay here now. Top of the batch is there. Your first move now, the head starts moving towards target, and this hip now is still quite high. So when you come down into the next position, the next frame or two, we can see that is the club head there. So that's yeah. super steep for you. I mean, that's that's going back almost to when we've had it sort of in the past before, okay? Especially when I'm trying to focus on that as well. Yeah, exactly, yeah. So this yeah. movement here now, when you're making this, and this is a practice swing, even that there, yeah. when you're bringing the arm, that's okay because we're getting it back to the right form there, but the club is now working back more online with this. So this is the practice feel you can have. Head stays behind the ball, hips are going to rotate and do their kind of shift run. I would say it can take a little bit of practice if needs be with when every session you have every 15, 20 shots, put two sticks either side of your legs and just make that, that move, yeah? Where your head feels like it's staying fairly stable and the hips are pivoting, sliding. Pivoting, sliding. Yeah, so I'm not going look, with the top half, but equally I'm not going to fire the lower half too aggressively, okay? Because any move that you do too exaggerated is going to be no good in terms of when the ball's there, okay? So... You're practicing those moves, okay? When you felt as though the head stayed behind the ball, you said, oh, I felt my shoulder come down lower. If the head stays behind the ball, the shoulder, it, it can't disconnect from your shoulder position. So if your head's going this way, everything now is going to tip underneath. So the head and the hips are the two things we should be worried about at all, okay? So top of the backswing, good position. As we start keeping the head behind the ball there now, that club is coming more through your right shoulder. It's still a little bit on the steep side, I'm not going to lie, but it's a hell of a lot flatter by thinking about just what the head does and the hip. Now, whether it's left hip sliding or right hip pushing, it doesn't really matter. You sort of said one way you were thinking about it, okay? But head and hip are the two things. Your shoulders will do what they do, yeah? Don't try to drop them and move them and do this. Don't worry about trying to get your arms back here when you're swinging it, okay? The only time I think I'd worry about your arms is the practice swing. When you do this motion up here now, so your arms, that's your hand there. Then when you return it back to the golf ball, it comes back over the top from its back swing. So even in your practice swings, it has a tendency to do that. So you could maybe sort of just be mindful of where that club's coming back down the back swing or the down swing. But when it comes to it in the golf ball, head stays behind it, hips are going to drive, flattens the club. The club now works more. You see from a sort of shallow angle in the golf ball, striking the ball. You see where that ball hit the screen there, yeah? And look where the line appears on the screen. That's gone left of the blue line. See the blue line there? It's just left of the white line. Just drawn to the left there, okay? But that's not because you've hit it left a lot of the time. A lot of time because the screen is... Because on this one here, you want to be starting it just right of the line slightly, okay? Focus on the head. Focus on the hips, okay? Those two. Don't let the arms away or shoulders or anything else. All I would say, if you want to get mindful of your arms, more so in the practice swing, just when the arms come back down from here... Just let them fall back down a bit more that way. A bit more that way. And you sometimes have that sort of resetting motion where you come a bit over the top. But your shoulder movement's going to do what it does if the head stays back and the hips work correctly. Mate. So try to, again, it's always about minimising thought. We know that, OK? So hips and head, they're your two main focal points, OK? And then again, when the ball's over, just hit the ball. OK, mate? Gotcha. Make sense? Yeah.